Kenobi, y'all tucked in again. Like a little person. <laughs> How are you so cute? I don't want to go to work. I want to be you today. Good evening, friends. Happy Thursday. Did I get home from work and immediately put on my pajamas? Why, oh, yes. Yes, I did. I have an exciting package that has arrived. Um, this was a cake-worthy pre-order and a restock. There's a brand new item in here and another item that they had but sold out. Both things I'm very, very excited about. So I thought I would just open ye old package on camera so you guys could see what's up too. You guys are nerds, you probably like cake worthy. So Hux is like, excuse me, I hear plastic. I hear plastic, mama. Pleased to meet ya. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so the pre-ordered item is this button up short sleeve shirt. And would you just, would you just, would you just look at it? It's the Muppets. It's the freaking Muppets. I am obsessed with this. This is just, I think, maybe the most up my alley thing that Cakeworthy has ever done. But the other thing I got was the restocked item. And this, I think, is the second most up my alley thing that Cakeworthy has ever done because they put out a Golden Girls collection. <laughs> And so I got this Golden Girls all over print t-shirt. Look how fun. We got Rose, we got Dorothy, we got Sophia, we got Blanche. I just really, I really, really like this. I'm just now realizing that we have cheesecake in the fridge, which is not something we like ever have around. And I kind of feel like, I mean, if I have a Golden Girls shirt and if I have some cheesecake, I should take a picture, right? <laughs> Doing it for the gram. Love the shirt, so comfortable. I have a lot of cake worthy all over tees. Um, I really like these. Not really trying to eat the cheesecake right now, but uh, I did need it for the sake of the picture. This is Irish cream flavored cheesecake. We found this at Aldi yesterday. We picked up one for me and Steve and one for my mom and dad. Friggin' Bailey's cheesecake, genius. I probably could have sized down on this one too. Their sizing is just so all over the place. <laughs> So I got the 4X, I wear, I wear a 2X, I got the 4X, and I probably could have done like a 3X. Now in their dresses, I wear like a 2X and everything else, like I have to get 4X, it's all so small. So uh, Cakeworthy, I love your sizing is Crazy Town USA, but it doesn't matter cause I'm wearing Muppets. Waka waka. I will say too, like I know their sizing is whack, but the quality of their clothing, mwah so good it's cauliflower dinner time cauliflower dinner time cauliflower dinner cauliflower dinner cauliflower dinner because we're so healthy <laughs> don't mind the ranch dressing <laughs> if you don't wear a gray ribbed shirt in this house get out it's all we wear around these parts today is april fool's day did you get pranked at all today steven no i got prank called at work did not I was not actually very amused by it. But there is something we have been saving for this day. This Joker prank shop kit that Ann and I found at Walmart for a price that I'm pretty sure was a mistake because we saw other ones that were marked at $15. But I went to check out and this was still $4.95. So for $4.95, I took it home. Just been kind of holding on to it. Until today. Lovingly caressing it giving it hugs, making it feel welcome and loved. <laughs> so we're gonna open this bad boy since it is April Fool's Day and um, not prank each other. No. <laughs> da -da -da. Okay, I already want in on this thing. I kind of like the background of this for shadow box purposes. It's ripped. Yeah, I mean, you can it. cut that. This is like a big this open space cute. right here anyway. You just like cut this whole right thing is very like aesthetically fun because it has like kind oh, of an old timey right. Joker feel. Um, it's very not Jared Leto. That's good. Though. Love Look that. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, this Joker. spins. Does this come off? Uh. Of course it comes off because you put the speaker somewhere and then you hit the button that makes the noise, oh. right? Duh. Do we need to put batteries in this? Oh, man. Okay, well, we have batteries. We have batteries. 
I just need my toolbox. Okay. Well, excuse us very much. We're going to get batteries. We're going to do some moving we'll batteries. See you again and... in a minute. Oh, that's annoying. Hey, see, so you put batteries in the thing. Is it going to stop? Does it stop? No. So it detaches. You can, like, sneak it under Steve's little pancake butt. Ready? Ready for a fart face? Ready to let it rip? Bring it back to the Joker. It's like the Heath Ledger Joker when the guy's got the phone in his body. So yeah, this is the thing that comes with it. This is a prank popper. So you hit it, pop, shake it. Shake, drop, and it's supposed to pop. And it looks like confetti is going to go everywhere too. Uh, uh, not doing that in here. No. Kitty cats. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to do that. No. We'll try this outside at a later time. Yeah. Yeah. That time is weekend. I think that's in a Steven's bag Steven's got too. three days off. Yeah. I think this is, you open the bag and take it out the popper that's inside. So at some point this weekend, we'll, we'll do this yeah. outdoors. Then we have this. Oh, this is this unassuming can of citrus unnaturally flavored soda it contains carbonated water high fructose joke syrup no caramel color do you say caramel or caramel caramel do you say caramel caramel steven how do you say cauliflower 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 yeah cauliflower or cauliflower. cauliflower which one do you say leave it tell us in the comments there's an i in it a cauliflower Oh. It's not C A U L E E E E E E E E E flower. Touche. Put the balls in here. Remove the base of the can. Okay. Pull out the stopper pin. So you have the stopper pull pin. Pull out the stopper pin. Okay. From this. This is supposed to be in here like this. Okay. Okay. And then you put all of the balls in. And then it says load balls into can. Then replace the stopper pin. It's like a little funnel. So you guys can see. Yeah. Like, so we got them all to go in like a little funnel. And then Replace the pin. The stopper pin in there. Replace the lid. Place the soda can where your prank victim will see it. Was this supposed yes. to close? Or? No. It is not. Okay. You put the soda down and someone says, what's this soda? Oh. And they pick it up and all the balls fall oh. everywhere. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's just set a scene here. Oh man! Hey it sure Jess, is, it sure is warm out here. You thirsty? You want to try this new soda I found? Uh, yeah, I yeah, I I do. I'm feeling awfully parched. I love a delicious citrus soda to quench my thirst. Why? Thank you. What? There's no soda in there? No, there's a bunch of balls and mess. Ha -ha. I have been pranked. Are you the Joker? <laughs> okay, hated that. <laughs> that was a level of terrifying. I did not I did not know. You don't need to pull the pin out and pull through the stopper and all that stuff. Just put balls in the can. Put this thing in and it's done. Yeah, wait, like what the heck? There was no point to that. Cause you can just do one of these. Yes. Yeah, that's what comes in the uh, Joker prank kit. I think this was originally like $20. Ugh. No, $6. No, no, four ninety five. <laughs> four ninety five. Four ninety five. That's worth four ninety five, right? <laughs> Again, yeah, we will do we'll do this at a later, safer time. Outside. Yes. Yeah. Steve, you wanna practice your magic trick? You wanna sign us out and do some magic? See the card? Ooh, it's a joker card. See the card? Whoosh, card is gone. Look at the card. Oh. It's disappeared. I made it disappear, reappear. Yeah. You see that? You see? He's getting. Oh, look at that! Is so much card behind it. It's getting a little better, guys. Though, right? Like it's getting a little better. Where, where it go? Just tell him that it is. Where'd it go. Just tell him. I don't see the card. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great, love. Okay. Good night, everybody.